Today on Mead Mythbusters, we're going to see if chopped raisins are more effective than regular raisins within a mead. Let's get started. Hey, this is Man Made Mead. Today, we're here with another mead myth. Um, I ran a large test to see if raisins are nutrients a while back and kind of came to the conclusive result, in my opinion, that they aren't. They don't really provide much. You can go check out that video. It'll be down in the description. Today, though, I want to respond to some of those comments. Some of the comments I saw on that video and on many other raisins as nutrients videos um, is that chopped raisins are actually better than whole raisins. So what I've done, and I'll show the process right here, I've gone ahead and mixed up two gallons of mead with the following recipe. It is uh, two gallon or one gallon, 1.75 gallons of water, um, five pounds of clover honey, and then I am using the Lauven D47 yeast, so I've put 1.5 ounces or grams in each one. Uh, I chopped up the raisins for one of these containers and then left the, them whole in the other. And we are going to now let them ferment and see which one, or see if they're different. So I'll be taking gravity readings along the way. And then um, I do plan on doing a taste test to see if there's any difference between the two. Um, but the big thing here is we're trying to find out if raisins will actually provide more nutrients, so to speak. Uh, a lot of people will say that they do provide more nutrients when chopped up because you are getting rid of the skin barrier between the fruit and the actual, um, you know, mead. So inside of the raisin, there is more nutrients, but we'll see. This side, I have my chopped raisins, and this side right here, I have my regular whole raisins. So let's get this started and see if we can bust or confirm this mead myth. Here's an update on the chopped versus not chopped raisins test. The breakdown is right here of every gravity reading I've taken so far. I am noticing that the chopped raisin has moved slightly, slightly faster than the course, not chopped version. And I do believe that could be attributing to the fact that the yeast can get to the inside of the fruit easier. Um, so, so far there's a, a minuscule difference, not a massive difference, um, but we're gonna continue the test and see how long they both take to finish. All right, we're back. It has been 43 days since this started. We are currently at 1.002 for both of them. Now, let me show you what they look like, then we'll talk about the breakdown. All right, you can see here, this is what they look like. I've been writing, of course, on the side. Uh, to notate the current gravities. This right here is the whole raisin. This right here is the chopped. The whole raisins look kind of like this. And then this is the chopped raisin. You can see the sides of them. They are clearly uh, in pieces as well. Now let's go ahead and talk about the gravity readings. Okay, so I didn't do gravity readings every day, but what I did do was periodic ones. And you can see, I'll put the numbers right here the breakdown. What I noticed is that the chopped raisins had a little bit of an effect early on. Um, the, I, at least you can see from here the numbers, that there was a, uh, a bit more movement. The yeast, I think, maybe found a small amount more nutrient within the chopped raisins than the full whole raisins, unchopped. Now, did it ultimately increase the speed at which they fermented? No, I mean, they're both at 1.002 and we're on day 43. So I think that the idea that they are a quicker nutrient might not be true. Now, did they pr provide something? A small amount. I think the biggest point difference here was maybe 0 0.005, uh, 0 0.05 points of gravity. And that's, that's not a lot. That's a small amount in the grand scheme of things. So the real test is going to be to see how the, they taste, to see if there's a taste difference. You saw the breakdown there. The, my uh, results are that the, the raisins helped, chopped raisins helped not a ton. It wasn't a significant increase. Are they still a viable nutrient in a pinch? Of course, I would absolutely, if I had nothing else to ever choose from, for whatever reason, 
I would throw some ra some maybe some chopped raisins in or whole raisins that kind of are equal. Now let's jump over to the taste test. And here we are, it's time for the taste test. Now I have in front of me four glasses, you can see here. Now these four glasses are a mix of two and two of each mead. Two of the whole, two of the chopped. Now I've mixed them up, uh, I'll show you a picture. I have a label on the bottom and I've made sure to sharpie to where I can't possibly see which one is which. Let me mix them up. I'm gonna taste test all of them. I've got a little water here to help me out. And I'm gonna try and see if there's any difference. So let me do this. Okay, let's start tasting. I'm gonna start over here. Ultimately, I wanna try and put all of the, if there's a difference, the chopped side here, and then the whole side here. So here's the first one. Ooh, it definitely has definitely some heat. It has some heat. It's like, we're 46 days old, I think now. So one a month and a half is not a lot of time does have a, a decent body to it. It's definitely yeasty. Um, like the fermentation is essentially done. It's obviously not cleared a ton. It's cleared some, but we're at the point where I feel like a taste tasting is okay. Okay. So these two taste exactly the same to me, I'm not getting the same, same bite, same yeastiness, the same body type. Um, there is a, a decent honey character there. But there is definitely like some flavor that I'm getting that's not necessarily a traditional mead taste, and I believe that's raisin. A raisin does add flavor, believe it or not. Um, let's keep going. I will say, for whatever reason, this one right here could be a placebo. Feels a little bit smoother, but what's weird to me, this one doesn't. So. Theoretically, if this is a chopped one or a, a whole raisin, one of these two or one of these three would taste the same, but this one is the outlier for some reason. I honestly can't tell a huge difference. I think that my brain just wants one of them to be different than the other and just kind of trying to figure something out. Now, I gonna take a complete yes, and I'm just gonna try and figure out which one would be the chopped one, which one would be the whole raisin. I don't, I don't really have a big criteria for which is which. This is legit just a guess. Okay, I have my guess. Um, it's only rough guess. Again, I have no criteria for putting them in either category because they're so similar. Like I'm just, it is kind of a guess. My assumption is that pop, like raisins being in the brew and having helped somewhat in fermentation might have made it cleaner. But again, I'm not really getting a big difference. Let's go ahead and check. This side, theoretically, if I've done this right or guessed correctly, is the whole raisin. Got a whole raisin. We got a whole raisin. Okay. Got a chopped raisin and a chopped raisin. I did not expect to get that right. <laughs> Let me taste test back and forth and see if I could find anything new between these two, knowing this is whole, knowing this is chopped. I feel like I'm getting maybe the slightest difference in like acidity. And I, I don't know why the full or whole raisins would be more acidic, but I feel like I'm getting the slight level of higher acidity than I am the chopped. Now, are they, is it a huge difference? No, um, you know, I just think that's, it's just not huge. And it's the same process. Raisins have definitely added flavor. This mead to me has an interesting or different taste, to be honest. So I don't really know if I would, um, I think raisins can have their purpose in flavoring if you want them to go that route. Now back to the original test. Do raisin, do chopped raisins, provide more nutrient content than whole raisins. I think if you go by the numbers of this test, I would say no. Now here's the deal. I could go through and do this test a million other ways like I did with the our raisins nutrients and do it with different yeasts, but I'm not going to. The truth is you have the same, we had the same process, the same amount of everything, and they both finished at the same time. Now was the, were the gravity readings fluctuating over time? Yeah. I mean, I feel like that's pretty natural. Truly, there are different fermentations. 
different, well, they're not actually different fermentations. Um, I do think the yeast had an easier time chewing through the sugars and the nutrition found in the raisins when they're chopped than if you were to put them whole. So if you're gonna use raisins, I would say go ahead and chop them up and throw them in. I will say that it does make a bigger mess, ultimately, a little bit harder to rack over. However, they do add the slightest, slightest bit in the middle of fermentation. Is it gonna boost your brew to finish quicker? No. Is that your goal? Should that be your goal when you add uh, nutrients? No. Nutrients are to aid the yeast in fermentation. Do I feel like the yeast were aided better in either regard? No. I think that they uh, ended up the exact same. Now, down the road, two, three months, four months, five months, that could be different. And I plan on coming back and hopefully doing a taste test of these two and seeing if there's any difference at that point. However, um, I'm gonna be done with this for now. My goal, or next thing I'll do, not on camera, is gonna be to rack these off of this, put them in a container to age, and let them sit for a long time. So, myth you would like for me to bust, feel free to send it my way. I will gladly try it and see um, what I can do. I love the science side of mead, if you haven't noticed, and I plan on doing more with it. So, thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Cheers.